In just a few short years, Energylandia has quickly established itself as one of the biggest theme park resorts in the whole of Europe. Located in Zeta, Poland, with its ridiculously large collection of rides and roller coasters, including the very tall Hyperion and the hybrid coaster Zadra. Hey, this is Stu for Out and Back Travel. I make videos to help inspire your own theme park travel adventures. Coming up in this episode, let's take a gander at the things nobody tells you about Energylandia. Energylandia is a bit like someone has the unlimited money scenario in Roller Coaster Tycoon and has just gone a bit bonkers, spamming down rides everywhere. I would definitely recommend at least two days to get around Energylandia, mainly due to the physical size of the park. As of summer 2022, there's 17 operating roller coasters with another three under construction. When it comes to Energylandia, everybody is going to tell you that the park is huge, there are lots of rides, and Zadra is bonkers, but it got me thinking, what were the elements that surprised me or tips that I didn't know before I visited the park? So I've put together this list of 10 things that not many people talk about when it comes to this amazing theme park in Poland. Before we dive into the list, if you do plan to stay at the Western Camp when you visit Energylandia, stay tuned until the end of the video as I've got a little bonus tip on how to get free fast pass. First up then, nobody talks about, it's actually quite beautiful. The landscaping and presentation is so nice overall. There's lots of seating areas and shelter. And look at this lovely stream. They have had a really good attempt at theming. Here's what happens when you order Talakan from Wish. So it's not always perfect, but I do appreciate the effort and it does add a lot of atmosphere and character to the park. But that leads us to point two, which is they haven't always finished the theming though. There's definitely some areas where the theming isn't quite finished, like the Voyage to the Crystal Grotto, which doesn't yet have the Crystal Grotto, so more Voyage to the Foundations for the future Crystal Grotto. I guess the park will add it later. We have seen them go back and add theming to all the parts of the park though, so it might get fixed in time. Number three, where's the right entrance? It's so easy to get lost as the layout is quite confusing, especially in the first section of the park. The attractions, shops and restaurants have numbers on them that correspond to their number on the park map, which is an interesting idea. You can spend a lot of time circling around an attraction to actually try and find the way in though. And this walking forever leads us to point number four, which is the queue lines are a ridiculous distance. The queue lines are so long, they literally go on for miles and there's no shortcuts or way to skip sections. If it's not busy, you're going to have to walk the full length of the queue every time. It's also quite mountainous too. Zadra's queue goes up and down a few bridges to cross over service roads and Hyperion's queue is a never ending spiral up the office block fire escape chic. Then you have to come all the way back down to the station. It's crazy. Number five, unique ideas. The park has some unique ideas that we haven't really seen at other theme parks before. And this makes it quite interesting to visit, such as these poles to stop you from standing up too early at the end of the water rides. These little quirks are really interesting to see as a seasoned theme park enthusiast. Like when the ride close was extended, these boards appeared around the park to let everybody know. Good job Energylandia. Number six, they have pass by lockers in the ride queues. The for Zadra. the speed water coaster and Hyperion, there's lockers inside the queue lines to store your items. You can then collect them from the other side of the locker when you're exiting the ride. You have to buy a wristband to access the system, however, it's a very small and modest charge, and it's valid all day and at all locations, so it's a really good deal. I really prefer the peace of mind of knowing that everything is locked away safely, and I can really enjoy the ride without fear of losing anything out of my pocket. Number seven, the many doorways to the ride stations. Zadra and Hyperion have a unique loading system where the queue line splits into four lanes before you get to the station and you queue for essentially which end of the train or the middle of the train, wherever you want to kind of end up. Automated turnstiles unlock and release a set number of people into that section and you can see how many spaces are left on the screen. This is quite an unusual system. It does make getting on the coaster a little trickier and a bit more stressful when you're trying to ride as a group on the same train. It's a, an interesting idea, I'm not sure if it quite works. Number eight, it's really surprising that there's so many shows. 
There's a diving show, a bubble show, a science experiment show, a planetarium, a magic show, and a stunt driving show. Definitely make sure you see one, as they're all pretty good. And number nine, they go all in on events. They really go for it with the events, especially Oktoberfest and the Winter Kingdom. We visited during the autumn and there was a metric fuck ton of pumpkins all over the place. They were literally everywhere, there must have been millions. And finally, there's always something new coming. Sometimes it may be worth holding your trip if there's an exciting expansion on the horizon for a park. However, Energylandia are growing so rapidly, I think you'll be waiting forever, as they always seem to be building something new. So I wouldn't hold out and I'd visit as soon as you can, as it's an incredible place and you'll definitely want to go back. So that concludes 10 things nobody tells you about Energylandia theme park. If you plan to stay over at the Western Camp, I've got a little cheeky bonus tip for you, and that is don't buy your tickets in advance. This seems like complete sacrilege, as it's the complete opposite to my normal advice for every other theme park in the world, which is always buy your tickets in advance. However, guests of the Western Camp can buy their tickets from the reception when they arrive. Not only do you get a special 5% discount, you also get access to a free Fastpass system, which is good for one ride on Zadra, Hyperion, Main Adventure and Abyssus. This offer is exclusive to guests of Western Camp, so not only will you be paying slightly less for your tickets, you'll actually get some bonus queue jumps too. So then, that wraps up my list of things that nobody talks about in regards to Energylandia. Do you have a tip or surprise that didn't make the list? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe on the way out and back.